Where are your sisters? I can't find them. Anna? Joy? I checked the entire house. They're not here. Where'd you put those girls? We didn't find anything. This thing's clean. It is a thriller, but in the midst of a very human story. Maybe he wasn't on his own. This guy's a fake. The girls are still out there. Ultimately, it's about how far you would go for the people that you love. Someone has to make him talk. I've never worked with a cast like this. Hugh Jackman, Viola Davis, Terrence Howard, Jake Gyllenhaal, Melissa Leo. I was just blown away that I got to act with these incredible, incredible actors. There is no small part in Prisoners. All the characters are going through moments where their performances will have to be just great. And so it was all about casting. You told us that you could protect us from everything. You're dealing with a community of characters that are lost within themselves because of something out of their control. You know this yourself. Just tell us. Tell me. Tell me! Keller is showing us things that as human, we know that are there inside us, but we don't want to look at them, at it, because it's too much ugly. And to do that, you have to have an actor that will be ready to give everything and to have the generosity to give this ugliness and his vulnerability in the same time. And Hugh gave it all. You know, I was really moved by the way he transformed himself in front of the camera. And the character of Keller was something different to what I played. In many ways, I admire him. He's very much a self-made man. He's prepared himself to look after his family and his dedication to his family is absolutely paramount. And I think the idea of this kind of character who's very much used to being in control of himself and his life and has some secrets, some dark secrets. All of that being challenged in this cauldron of this really heightened story to me was a, uh, just a challenge, a different kind of character and a challenge that I had never been given before. She's dead. You can't do anything. You've been leaving me and mom here while you've you, you been going out and getting fucking drunk. You think I can't smell it? Oh! I did a lot of research into what happens to family dynamics in these situations. Um, tried to marry that with research I did of survivalism because my character is survivalist. If my character lived in the 60s, he'd have a nuclear bunker underneath his house. He has such a way of giving energy to you in a scene and helps you to act better. It's like playing catch with someone and they're a perfect athlete and they throw it perfectly every time. As a human being, it annoys me to say, but I just think he's a really good guy. <laughs> I will talk to him. No, don't okay? talk. Mr. Dover, arrest him. Jake and I talk together a lot, and he's someone like myself who likes to go over things and talk things through, and he's someone who does not leave a stone unturned. I found a very exciting work with him. You hide him? No. How'd you hide him? You tie him up? Anybody who's really a great detective has to somewhere, though they may despise it have to get into the mindset and the mind of the person who's done the crime. Juxtaposition for him was having to be in that mindset of knowing the person who's, who's taken these girls and then at the same time caring about them, which no other character falls into that world. You said you were drawing a map. It looks like a fucking puzzle. You tell me what you're drawing. Particularly for me, what was fascinating was watching interrogations and seeing how we assume something of someone. We are skeptical of them. They become very different from what we thought they were. And those who are most innocent to us could be the opposite or could just be innocent. And more often than not, it's an equation that follows no rules. What's interesting about Jake as an actor is he's very, very diligent and meticulous about his character. And he brings an intelligence and a specificity to the character that he's creating. And I think he's created an incredibly compelling character in Loki that has a real past and has a real point of view on how he's pursuing cases. Wait for your mother, please. I needed an actress that at the beginning of the film will show a lot of life and suddenly shut it down for a, a, a woman of that beauty. Maria is so beautiful and she really throw everything away, no makeup, look tired, just to make her more and more uh, like a ghost. I think what Maria, who's an incredibly strong, courageous woman herself, and what she has managed to bring is this humanity and this vulnerability and the idea that people can break. People under this kind of pressure can actually break. It's too much for them to handle. <laughs> Do you have children, detective? When something this horrific happens, it's truly heartbreaking and would tear you apart. Anna, this ain't right. This has to stop.
Terence Howard brought this kind of intellectual vulnerability to the character that I really love. The character is the emotional and moral center of the film. Definitely the roles are reversed in this marriage, but in ways that are not so in your face. Viola is playing a very strong woman. She's the alpha in the relationship, and Terence is much more emotional, and he's very sensitive. What the hell were you thinking? Viola, uh, she's stoic. There's a strength, and there's these gems of creativity within her, and her eyes are so dark and deep, and you can find your character within her so quickly, and everything she says is truthful. She doesn't lie and will not move until there's a reason to move, and to have that type of stillness and presence of being. See, this is a hard one with research, because for me, the only research you need to do is be a parent. The challenge with this is usually you're more willing to go down the road of your imagination in order to prepare for the character. But this one, it was a little bit more difficult. It was not something you wanted to take home with you. Can you help me find my little girl? <laughs> it's a heartbreaking character that Viola portrays beautifully. That boy has never been in trouble, not a day in his life. Well, this is great, she's fierce. I don't think I've ever seen someone love acting as much as she loves it. And I think she just loved playing this character. As she said to me on set, she goes, there's no bad characters. There's no baddies. Everyone believes they're right. And she played this part with such conviction, such absolute conviction in what she believed in and what she was doing was right, that it's chilling, absolutely chilling. In playing a character, whatever actions the story might entail you to take, an actor must find a real life motivation. People don't behave in ways for no reason whatsoever. Audie Jones is the toughest character because you have to believe who is she? You have to not guess who is she, but you must not laugh when you dis discover who she is. It's a very complex thing to do because if she plays it too much as a good old grandmother, it won't work. If you feel too much darkness from the start, it won't work either. It was a very, very delicate line. She was walking on the edge of a big cliff. <laughs> Don't recognize these girls? I didn't see them. We gotta sit down. When I read the script, I said to myself, I need Paul Dano. I needed someone that even if you were not seeing him for the half of the movie, the audience will still feel his presence. He's somebody who to a certain person can come across as a bad guy, but to another person is maybe just a victim himself. He has the IQ of a 10 year old. There's no way he could abduct two girls and then make them disappear. What you doing? Tell me! Well, no, no, no! Paul is an extraordinary actor. Uh, it's almost impossible to see acting. He totally inhabits the part. I think he's a guy who could maybe want to be helpful, and I think he's a guy who could be too scared to be helpful or doesn't know right from wrong at this point. You know, he's been through a lot, so I don't think he has the best barometer of what to do and how to handle things. But he's a, he's a sad guy to have spent time with. An incredibly difficult role to play because he has an innocence to him, but yet it's a danger to him that Paul Dano was genius at. It's a producer's dream to have this combination of actors. It's just such a huge pool of talent. It really ups the bar. I always want to be working with people who are better actors than me, and in this case, every single scene I get to. Tell me where they are! Tell me! The movie follows the story of two families whose children go missing. I'm Detective Loki. I'm heading up the investigation into your daughter's disappearance. The guy outside the RV knows where they are. We haven't found any physical evidence. Can't waste any more time on this guy. Two little girls. I gotta be worth whatever rule you gotta break to keep them in custody. There's definitely a, a butting of heads between the two of them. Mr. Dover, we're considering all possibilities. I don't think you are considering no, all I, possibilities. I hear, I hear what you're saying. No, sir, you listen sir, to me. Just I, shut up for a second. Just let me do my job. For my character, the frustration is massive. I need to do something. In some ways, prisoners could have been made in a, as a western. He stays in custody until my daughter's found, right? We have a 48 hour hold on. It ends tomorrow unless we bring charges. We'll charge him or something. It's really the fight between the cowboy and the sheriff. The police said they're letting him go today. What you doing? Tell me! Well, no, no, no! You see Keller going through an emotional journey. I don't know what to do anymore. The best thing you can do right now is go home. Every day she's wondering why I'm not there. Me, not you! All right. But me! He loses faith in the police and he takes matters into his own hands from there. Alex. 
There's a real naivete in the way that Keller deals with everything. What in the world did you do? Someone has to make him talk, or they're gonna die. You don't even know it's him. He's in a desperate situation to protect his family. I know you know where they are. WHERE'S MY DAUGHTER?! Hugh Jackman brings a real humanity that is required to go on this journey. We're not gonna help Keller, but we won't stop him either. Let him do what he needs to. That boy has never been in trouble, not a day in his life. Well, this thing's clean. I'd start looking in the woods by the rest stop. This case becomes very difficult for Loki to handle. I've always been a fan of Jake as an actor, and to work with him is really fantastic. Why aren't you sending someone out to go arrest them? Actor to actor, there's this incredible sense of rhythm. I will talk to him. No, don't okay? talk to Dover. Arrest him. In these extremes, it becomes absolutely elemental, guttural, natural. Five days have been gone now, but we're running out of time. You're gonna have to trust me. I'm gonna find your daughter. People don't behave politely. Why aren't you telling me? Because they're saying right. Why? Ah! It's honest. Show me your hand. And very real. Why did you look for my daughter? That's what makes prisoners compelling.